When demounting tires from antique car wire wheels, we don't want to chip the paint or scratch the wheels. But how can you remove a tire without risking scratches? I'm going to show you how to easily demount a tire from a wire wheel without risking damage. The technique I use to remove a tire is fairly conventional, but I do have some tricks to make it easier and to protect the rim. Nothing revolutionary about this technique, I just wanted to show you how I do it. This method is suitable for all sizes of antique wire wheels. I've used this method on both 21 inch Model T wheels and 19 inch Model A wheels for example. And be sure to watch my companion video where I show how to install a tire on a rim without using tire levers at all. See the link in the description below. Find a way to warm up the tires as much as possible to make them more compliant. I've brought them inside to my woodworking shop, but you can lay them out in the sun or find some other way to warm them up. Warming the tire is particularly important for old tires, which become hard and stiff over time. Some people prefer to work from the inside of the wheel rather than the outside. This is so that any scratches, should they accidentally occur, will be less obvious. This is actually a good idea, but requires a special work surface with a big hole in it, which I don't have. So I will just have to be careful working from the front. Deflate the tube entirely by removing the valve core. Break the bead all around both sides. This is usually pretty easy, not like modern tubeless rims. Hold the tire deep into the drop center with a heavy duty zip tie or two. Collapse the beads and work them down into the drop center. This is the most important step in the whole process. Both beads near the valve stem need to be fully down into the drop center. You may need a clamp to collapse the tire beads together. I use some antique tire levers and some new plastic rim protectors. When buying rim protectors, get some with a shape that suits your rims. Some rims have rolled edges while others have sharp edges, for example. I wish I didn't have to use tire levers at all, but I have not found a way to demount a tire without them. Opposite the valve stem, pry the top bead over the rim. Be careful not to pinch the tube with the tire lever. Cut the cable ties away when they impede progress. Work around the edge a little farther until there is enough loose bead to pull the bead off the rim bit by bit by hand.
Now pry the second bead off the rim similarly. Once you get enough of the bead pried off, you can just pull it off by hand. Then it's easy to remove the tube. I wish I had a better method for tire removal, so if you have suggestions, tricks, or techniques, please let me know in the comments. And be sure to watch my companion video, where I show how to install a tire on a rim without using tire levers at all. I'm Steven from Fliver Channel and thanks for watching.